Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alana if you are new here and today, surprise, surprise, we have a everyday feel pretty confident makeup tutorial for you guys. So if you wanna see how I achieved this makeup look, then just keep on watching. I'm gonna start off with this Chanel Le Beige Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid in Sunkissed. I'm gonna put it all over my face. It just really gives a nice, slight, bronzy glow. It's not as thick and covering as the By Terry CC Cream. I really enjoy it underneath a foundation. You can see how natural that is. It really just illuminates the skin without giving a textural coverage. I don't even know if that's even an accurate description, but with Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury and even By Terry CC Cream, you're going to get coverage along with glow where this is truly just a glowy base. For foundation, I'm back on my Shiseido Synchro Skin. I have to mix these two because I don't have like a perfect in-between shade. So I have 220 Linen. This is definitely when I'm like no tan whatsoever. And then this is like when I'm pure tan and it's the 340 Oak. Mixed together is perfection. What I love about this foundation is, first of all, it makes your skin look flawless, but not in a heavy full coverage way. It definitely evens out skin tone and texture, and it gives good coverage. Like if I was to do another layer, I would say this goes into a full coverage category. Like this already is medium coverage. I just don't feel cakey whenever I wear it. It just kind of blends with my skin really seamlessly. And for oily skin, it's not a matte per se foundation, but it isn't super glowy and intense. I think my oils throughout the day will aid in helping it being a little bit more glowy than usual, but I just love the satin skin-like finish it gives to my skin. I feel like my skin just is having a moment right now. Like it just looks so healthy and bouncy and glowy. I feel like this has gone slightly viral on TikTok, at least my For You page it has. It's the Lancome Tiant Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I have this shade now. I've said the shade before and some people cannot find it, so I don't know if that's a UK, US thing because I feel like Lancome possibly has different shade names for different countries, Ooh, so that might not be helpful, but it is number two, yeah, zero two, literally, right there you can see. It is definitely a cool beigey rose undertone, so if you don't like that, then you won't like this color. I, however, love that for under my eyes. I feel like we're kind of over that like yellow under eye vibe you know like when everyone used like a banana powder i feel like people want more of a pinky under eye. i remember like a month ago everyone was wanting like literally a pink blush under their eye so i just think this looks more natural it's subtle brightening without being overly brightening i just want this to look very natural under my eyes and i feel like it's the one concealer that gives me the most minimal creasing because naturally especially as you grow older you're just gonna have creasing under your eyes, like it's inevitable. And the more you try and cover it and powder it, it's just gonna aid in more creasing, so minimal amount of stuff under there. And then just use a really hydrating eye cream. I know that's gonna vary for different, you know, people and genetics for under their eyes, but me specifically, I will crease just under here. I'm okay with tapping it throughout the day, but this concealer specifically is the most reduced creasing that I have experienced. Now for some cream bronzer to warm up my face. Obviously I'm gonna use the Pearl Beauty Light Cream Bronzer. I've also been really gravitating to the shade Fair just because if I don't want as warm of a tone of a bronzer, Fair is gonna do that because it gives me the same depth. It's just gonna give me more of a beigey undertone rather than such a warm undertone here. Um, we've actually noticed a couple people have done comparison videos of our cream bronzer, the Pearl Beauty. If you're new here, I own a brand called Pearl Beauty that I launched last November, but some people have been taking this bronzer that we launched in end of June and comparing it with the famous Chanel bronzer. And guess who's winning, girl? Guess who is winning? Pearl Beauty. That wasn't insinuated. Anyways, I'm just taking this on my cheeks and really buffing it in. As you can tell, I'm stipulating, stipulating, oh my goodness, stippling <laughs> on my cheeks. So then it's really, I don't know, pressing it on. If you have oily skin or you're wearing a fuller foundation underneath, you wanna press and stipple that cream on top of it. 
just so then you're not sweeping the product that you put underneath because I didn't set anything on my face with the powder yet. There is a higher chance of sweeping whatever is underneath with whatever you put on top. Does that make sense? With oily skin, it just is like the better application. I'm gonna take a little bit of a setting spray, whatever setting spray you like, and I'm gonna put it all over my face just before we add any more cream, and especially before we add any powder to set the cream products that we've just used. While that is still drying on my face, I'm gonna take a brow pencil. This is from Diego de la Palma, and it's in the shade, I think it's 62, because there really isn't any other name for me to find on here. It's like a light medium brown. I find with my brows, especially in the summer, I know I have previous microblading. It has severely lightened, but now that my hair is a little bit more of a golden, deeper blonde, I feel like I need to just fill in any sparse areas a little bit more. And this is like a powder pencil, so it's not really aggressive, like it's not too waxy. It's more of a powder finish. So it's just gonna fill in those sparse areas I need to severely pluck under my brows because they need it. And you can see the slight difference. I feel like there's just a little bit more structure, depth, shape, but it's not overwhelming. Okay, for blush, I'm gonna take a little bit of this powder blush from NARS in Bumpy Ride. I need a little brush. And I'm just gonna sweep over, really all over. So it's a very pale, bright pink. You can kind of grasp what it looks like there. And I'm gonna just stipple it on. It's almost gonna act as a little bit of a setting powder, but I'm keeping it right under my eyes. So like I mentioned before in the start of the video, under eyes are having a moment being a little bit more pink underneath there. So I'm genuinely taking this powder blush on my cheekbone, but like basically sweeping it under my eyes as well. This is gonna keep it very youthful, fresh, brightening, and you can see this color is not overwhelming at all, and it's not like I'm dyeing the concealer color pink, it's just flushing it with this brighter version of a pink. Maybe just watch and see, because I don't know if I'm describing it very well, but it's very subtle. It's a nice technique to give an overall brightness and, I don't know, fresh flush to the face. Moving on to eyes, I will not use mascara unless I've curled my lashes. It's it's life-changing, so I'll show you. This is the Tweezerman Lash Curler that I swear by. Get in there and start pumping, but not aggressively. I'm not pulling at my lashes and I'm not moving my eyelid too aggressively. Also, I swear by the Lash Serum UK Lash. In October, that will make it two years that I've been using it, and you can see right there the difference of curling your lashes and not. So naturally, whenever you put on mascara, it's gonna look more voluminous, it's gonna look more lifted because we've given it a little, you know, leg up with curling it. So definitely invest in a lash curler. I don't even think this one's that expensive. I believe it's under 20 pounds and the difference is incredible. Before we put mascara on, I'm gonna take my eyeliner and I've been doing this kind of on an everyday basis lately, but I feel like it's an elevated version of high school eyeliner. So it's this Bare Minerals Mineralist Eyeliner in Copper. I feel like brown is having such a moment. Black is obviously gonna be forever classic and a staple, but brown on especially blue eyes is chef's kiss. So I'm gonna put this on my tight line, which is my top waterline. And because this shade, sorry if I get a little watery, this shade Copper isn't like just a flat brown, there is a slight shine, shimmer, whatever you wanna call it, in it. It's gonna be a little bit more reflective on the eyes, so it's really gonna just add a nice definition around your eyes, but really pop them if they're blue. I'm also gonna go on my bottom waterline all the way from tear duct to outer corner. Mascara, this one is the biggest mascara I own. I feel like it's a little unnecessary, but it is worth it because this mascara is insane. Obviously, I love my Hourglass Unlocked. It's a tubing mascara, but if you don't like tubing mascaras and you still want one that doesn't transfer or bleed or flake, anything like that, this one is also Diego de la Palma and it's called my Happy Joy Mascara. I am very sloppy with applying mascara. This big brush doesn't help, but it is incredible. Literally, I wore it this weekend. It was my 31st birthday on Sunday. This is probably going live on Wednesday or Thursday. And I went to a spa with Patty. And we went into this like sauna thing where it was a part of the package. It was called a Celtic sauna ritual. And it was so hot. And the guy was like flapping hot air at us. And I was like, oh, Patty, like, I'm sure my mascara is everywhere because it's not waterproof. Ooh, voice cracked. And he was like, no, it's nowhere to be seen. And I was like, looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my goodness, it even withstood 
a sauna, a Celtic sauna experience. I mean, for one coat, that's pretty insane, you guys. I'm gonna do the other side and then go on with one more coat and you'll see how intense it is. We're almost there. I'm gonna take a translucent powder, any one that you enjoy, and really just focus on my T-zone. Naturally, my pores in my T-zone are larger because of my oily skin, so this is just gonna give me a little extra layer of reassurance throughout the day, but I don't want it to be too cakey or powdery, so just keeping it very light-handed in this area. I think I want a little bit more pop on my cheeks. That blush is really subtle and youthful, but I think I need a little bit more punch to it, so I'm gonna take the Pearl Beauty cream highlighter in glazed. This is our darker highlighter. So it does have a little bit more of a color undertone. You can see it's very well loved. It has a pink, copper, rose gold vibe to it. So my skin tone, because it's a bit lighter, it's gonna really shine through those colors, not so much just the shine. The color Sunkissed in our collection would be more of just like a reflective, you know, shiny donut, glazed donut look where this is gonna give me like a blush topper effect. Finish this look off, I don't think I could do a feel pretty put together look without using my beloved MAC World Liner. So I'm gonna outline my lips with that, slightly filling them in, buffing it out with my finger, and then filling in with the L'Oreal Intense Volume Matte in Admirable 602. Whatever's left on my lips, I always tap on my cheeks just because I feel it makes the look cohesive, brings it together. It's a nice little topper. That is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I tried to break down and talk a little bit more on why I do each step and it's kind of just my go-to feel good, confident, pretty kind of makeup. You guys always ask to see these types of makeup where it probably looks like a couple hundred other tutorials I've done, but it's always using different products, slightly different techniques, and I think it's just the most relatable because we all do everyday makeup every day, hence the name. Let me know what you wanna see in the comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.